Hey, what's up? It's Karen Ann Hopkins from Bride Disrupted, and this is Wedding Real Talk for couples who want less fluff and more meaning in their weddings, relationships, and their lives. Today, we are talking about 2020 wedding trends, but before we get started, make sure you hit subscribe and check that bell so you get notified of all new episodes. Okay, so 2020 wedding trends. Pantone color of the year has been announced. Does that mean that you should be going and changing all of your bridesmaids dress colors and tablecloths to classic blue? No, this is not that kind of wedding trend video. These are trends for couples who are taking a more non-traditional approach to their weddings and looking for a more intentional and meaningful approach to their celebrations. So trend number one, smaller budgets. I think couples are becoming more savvy about what they're spending their money on and the true value of what a one day or a few hours worth of partying really means to them when they have the whole rest of their lives to consider and the financial investments that they have coming up for that. For a really long time, we've been bombarded with advertisements and messaging that it the only way to have a wedding is to spend $30,000 no matter what country you're in. That seems to be the price tag and invite 120 of your closest friends. But as we become more aware of the world around us, we become more sustainable in our practices and more mindful in the way that we live our lives. I think we're going to see that changing and we're going to be using our budgets for more important things in our lives like investing for our future, for investing in our families and children and perhaps putting that money towards something that seems more relevant and important to your lives right now like buying your first home or taking six months off to have the best honeymoon ever. So smaller budgets and with smaller budgets of course comes smaller guest lists. So again I see couples becoming more intentional with the decisions that they're making so rather than just blanket inviting all of the people that they've ever had in their lives and feeling like they have to include everyone that you ever went to school with or every neighbor you ever had or every former best friend that you had in your entire life. Couples are taking a more intentional approach by being really clear about who they're inviting to their wedding and why. It's no longer about keeping up appearances and about making your parents happy or just trying to keep the peace among old friends. In order to have an intentional wedding celebration, you need to be really clear about who you're inviting and why. So forget the pity invites, smaller guest lists are in. The next 2020 wedding trend is a move towards more sustainable and eco-friendly weddings. I think we're all beginning to realize just how much pressure our consumer habits put on this planet and weddings seem to be the last industry to have escaped this disruption and awareness. So I think we're going to start to see couples who are making more conscious efforts to be more sustainable with the choices that they make for their weddings. For example, using less single use items like wedding dresses, for example, we're going to see more recycled, renewed, upcycled wedding dresses from either sites where you can rent wedding dresses as opposed to buying them and just wearing them once and letting them hang in your closet for the rest of eternity. Uh, purchasing secondhand wedding dresses from places like Facebook Marketplace or just choosing to wear a lovely outfit that you already own because there's no need to go out and buy something brand new for this day. We're gonna see a cutback in printed invitations as a result and printed items that you might find at a typical wedding, for example, wedding menus or ceremony programs. We live in a digital world now. We are all connected to our devices 24 seven. And so guaranteed that your guests are actually going to probably prefer it if you provide them with the information that they need digitally so that when they're running late to your wedding and they can't find the address because they left the physical invitation stuck to their fridge, they're gonna be glad that you actually sent them a digital invite instead. Same goes for printed menus and those ceremony 
programs, having a digital version of those that people can access on their phones or in just one single place, like a big sign or board where people can all consume the content there together at once rather than having to have 100 individually printed items. Um, looking at more sustainable food and menus at weddings. So choosing to go with caterers who work with sustainable farmers and suppliers for the produce that they bring into your celebration and overall just having less on the menu because there's nothing worse than getting to the end of a celebration and having piles and piles of leftover food that just goes to waste. And the last wedding trend for 2020 is wedding redos. So I have spoken to so many people who say that they had their first wedding because it was the one that their parents wanted to have. It wasn't exactly the kind of wedding that they had in mind for themselves. So I think that as the years progress and couples who have already been married for five, 10 years, they're really looking to make that commitment again, renew their vows and do a wedding redo the way that they actually wanted to do it in the first place. So whether that's running off to Vegas and being married by Elvis, having an intimate ceremony on the beach with themselves or eloping to uh, somewhere cool and exotic, we are going to be seeing more wedding redos in 2020. Now, I'm sure you're gonna come across a whole bunch of other posts about wedding trends for 2020, and they're gonna tell you that it's extravagant florals or wedding llamas or food trucks at your reception or all manner of consumerist and over the top trend worthy items. But let me tell you that that stuff just isn't important. What's important is you and your partner and your loved ones and the way that you decide to celebrate in a way that feels meaningful to you. So don't be afraid to skip over those other more consumerist trends that you come across and just go for the ones that feel right for you. Now, if you want more clarity on what's actually important to you, head over to my website at bridedisrupted.com and download my free wedding planning unchecklist. Because if you have downloaded a wedding planning checklist from Pinterest, chances are it's gonna be full of items that you don't actually want or need, but you're gonna feel pressure to have those things because that's what this list said. So the unchecklist is a completely different approach. It allows you to figure out what you actually want and design your celebration around those things. So head on over to braddisruptor.com to download that now. If you liked this video, please give it a like, leave a comment if you have any questions, and of course, subscribe and hit that bell so you can be notified of future videos. And lastly, just remember my number one piece of wedding advice. Don't let anyone tell you what to do. There is no right way to plan a wedding and what's right for somebody else may not be right for you. You are the only two people who can decide what's best for you. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.